This time we will review phone cooling pad Grimax RT EM01. Inside the package, we will get a micro USB cable, a quality control paper, and there is the unit. Let's talk about the design. At first glance, the lower horn looks too short if we compare to PlayStation Stick for example. But after I use it for a while, it is comfortable to use and the design in my opinion felt ergonomic. In addition, the short horn makes this device more compact to carry when traveling. On the front, there is on-off button. At the bottom, there is a micro USB port to charge device and next to it, there is a normal USB port that we can use to charge cell phone. The surface design is striped for effective cooling effect. The wind direction is from back to front. We can take out this part when we want to stand up the device for watching movies or other purposes. It is said that we can use this cooling pad for cell phone with 4 inch up to 6 inch screen. When I use it on LG V10 that has 5.7 inch screen, the clamp still has this much clearance. For the clamp, it can only be pulled up and down. We cannot adjust the thickness. This means we cannot use this device if the cell phone uses case. We must remove the case first before using this device. Or if you use an eye ring or something, we definitely cannot use the cooling pad without have to remove the accessories first. Actually, if your cell phone is thick, there is also possibility of being unusable. Here I use Redmi Note 3 as an example. As you can see at the bottom of the locking part, it looks so tight. At the bottom, there are rubber pads in three parts, two on the edge and one in the middle. This rubber pad is useful to reduce the slippery effect and also to make a clearance for cell phone button. As you can see, the cell phone button is not pressed to the cooling pad. But even though there are rubber pads, if the cell phone body is made of slippery material, we can still slide the phone. In terms of design, I think Remax RT EM01 is pretty good and the build quality is also good. It uses good plastic material and it seems quite durable. Now let's talk about the performance. This device uses 2000 mA battery. If we turn on the fan only without use it to charge the phone, it can run for approximately 4 hours. If you use it to charge the phone, of course it will definitely run out battery much sooner and it won't charge your phone until full because it only used 2000 mA battery. Next to the on-off button, there are two lights. The left light is on-off indicator. The light will turn on while the fan running. The right light is charging indicator. It will blink while we charge this device and it will keep turn on when the battery is full. We can turn on the fan while this device connected to the charger, but the fan speed seems slower when we use it while charging. To charge the cell phone, we just have to attach USB cable from this device to the cell phone. We don't have to press anything, it will automatically start charging the phone when connected. Now the big question is, is this device really useful for cooling cell phones? If based on my feeling only, I feel this device do its job properly. When the fan is running, I can feel the breeze on my hand coming from the sidelines and from the back when the wind hit back by the cell phone body. This creates a feeling that the phone temperature is cool. But for more valid data, let's use processor temperature monitor application. I will use float CPU. When the fan is not turned on, we can see the CPU temperature is above 60 degrees Celsius. Now let's turn on the fan. We can see now the temperature reaches 65 degrees Celsius. We need to wait a moment because the fan is just recently turned on. It can be seen that currently the temperature is below 60 degrees after running the fan. Now it is currently at 57 degrees Celsius. After this, the temperature does not go down again. In other words, this fan is effective enough to reduce the temperature for about 4 until 5 degrees Celsius. Now, we will compare the fan noise level. This can be important, for example, if you want to record sound from phone mic. 
This is the sound when the fan is turned off. This is the sound when the fan is turned on. Let's compare it once again. In my opinion, the sound of the fan is quite audible but not too annoying. Do I recommend this device? The answer is yes. I recommend it because this device is quite good to reduce the phone heat. Cell phones that are overheated or often used in hot condition can shorten its lifespan. Especially for a cell phone like LG V10 that is vulnerable to boot loop issue. You can watch our other video for this matter. I hope this video useful for you. Thank you very much for watching.